Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn Thai with Mod. Today I have got 50 phrases for you that you can use in conversation. But before we get started, I would like to welcome everyone to join our online group speaking classes. So you can start comfortably from home. We have different group for different levels. Either you want to start it from scratch or you want to take your time to the next level, we can help you. So please write us to this email to get a free assessment test before you enroll the course. All right, let's get started. We're going to learn the common phrases to use for get information. So the 22 is คุณรู้ไหมว่า and followed by whatever you want to ask. So this phrase, this question means, do you know if or do you have any clue? For example, if you want to ask, do you have any clue where 7-Eleven is? So you can say, คุณรู้ไหมว่า 7-Eleven อยู่ที่ไหน? คุณรู้ไหมว่า 7-Eleven อยู่ที่ไหน? คุณรู้ไหมว่า So it's, do you know that? Do you know if? And then followed by the question, where is 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven อยู่ที่ไหน? So if you want to ask a question, do you know? You know, asking your Thai friends, like, do you know about something or do you have any clue about something? You have to start your question with คุณรู้ไหมว่า? And then followed by whatever you want to ask. 23 is คุณรู้จัก something ไหม? คุณรู้จัก something my. So this question phrase is used when you want to ask, do you have any idea about something? So you start your question with คุณรู้จัก and then follow by whatever you're looking for or you want to get information about and then follow by my as a question. For example, do you have any idea or do you know a good Thai teacher? So you can say คุณรู้จักครูภาษาไทย เก่งๆไหมคุณรู้จักครูภาษาไทยเก่งๆไหม So do you have any idea? Do you know about a good Thai teacher? So เก่งๆ This word means uh, do something well or good at something. So you know like good Thai teacher. We would say ครูภาษาไทยเก่งๆ So do you know? And if people ask you about information and you want to respond that you don't know. So here are the common phrase that Thai people use for I don't know. 24, ไม่รู้. ไม่รู้. I don't know. This one you've probably been using it many times, right? And 25, ไม่รู้เลย. ไม่รู้เลย So you add เลย in the end You know what I mean? Like I don't know at all or I have no clue 26 is ไม่รู้จัก ไม่รู้จัก This phrase is used to respond when you don't know about something or someone or some places specifically Not the information Like if your friend's asking Do you know James? คุณรู้จัก James ไหม? And then mm -mm. I don't know. You could say ไม่รู้จัก. ไม่รู้จัก. 27 is ไม่แน่ใจไม่แน่ใจ This phrase means I'm not sure. 28 is ขอโทษนะที่ช่วยไม่ได้ ขอโทษนะที่ช่วยไม่ได้ this phrase means, I am sorry that I cannot help there. So basically it means like, I am sorry that I cannot help you. So shui, shui is to help. And I hope you remember the phrase for I am sorry, ขอโทษ. ขอโทษนะที่ช่วยไม่ได้. I am sorry that I cannot help you. 29 is, อยากรู้เหมือนกัน. อยากรู้เหมือนกัน. This phrase means, Actually, I have been wondering the same thing. 
So this phrase is used when you don't know what your friends ask and actually it was the same thing that you want to know as well. So you can tell them อยากรู้เหมือนกันอยากรู้เหมือนกัน Now let's talk to uh, now let's talk about the phrases that we use for agreeing to people. All right? So the 31 is เห็นด้วย Hendui. This phrase, these words mean agree. So when you want to agree with your friends, you can say Hendui. Hendui. Thirty one is Chan Hendui Gap Kun or Pom Hendui Gap Kun. So this phrase means I'm agree with you. Thirty two is Kit Mun Gan. Kit Mungan literally translation is mean think the same. So basically we use this phrase when you want to say exactly kit mungan. 33 is chai. Chai. This one is so easy and simple, right? So Thai people use chai when you want to say that's right. And then 32 is jing ti sut. Jing ti sut. This phrase is mean that's so true when you, you know, strongly agree with your friends. จริงที่สุด. All right, 35 is พูดอีกก็ถูกอีกพูดอีกก็ถูกอีก Meaning that you can say that again. So basically, the more you say it, the more you're right. พูดอีกก็ถูกอีก 36 is ใจ ตรงกันใจตรงกัน This phrase means I was just going to say that So when your friends say something exactly that you're about to say you know, or you think the same thing or you agree to the same thing in Thai you can use ใจตรงกันใจตรงกัน Alright, so after we learned the phrases that used to agree with people, so now let's learn the phrases that we use when we disagree with people. Alright, so 37 is ฉันไม่แน่ใจฉันไม่แน่ใจ As you remember, แน่ใจ is mean sure, right? So we can use this when you not really agree what your friend said so it's like hmm, i am not sure if what you say was right or i'm not sure if i agree to that so you could say ฉัน or ผม 38 is ฉันไม่คิดอย่างนั้นผมไม่คิดอย่างนั้น so meaning hmm, i don't think like that or I didn't think that way. So when you or when you want to disagree, you know what your friend said or some idea that like you don't really have the same idea. So you can say, ฉันไม่คิดอย่างนั้น or ผมไม่คิดอย่างนั้น. Thirty-nine, nine is ฉันไม่เห็นด้วย or ผม my hen I as you remember hen do I is agree so my hen do I disagree so I don't agree with you I disagree with you so you can say Chan my hen do I or pom my hen do I all right and the 41 the last phrase when you want to disagree with people is tham bap ni di kwa mai tham ทำ to do แบบนี้แบบนี้ like this ดีกว่า ดีกว่า better ไหมไหม question word ทำแบบนี้ดีกว่าไหม meaning do you think it is better to do this so when you want to offer or when you want to suggest, you know, another way to doing things to your friends, like it would be better to do this, you think? So you can say, ทำแบบนี้ดีกว่าไหม? Now, one of the most difficult thing we have in Thai is a huge problem for Thai people is 
to end the conversation. You know, sometimes when that person still want to continue the conversation, but you don't really want to have more conversation. So here are the most common way to say goodbye or to tell your Thai friends that you have to leave politely. 41 is ขอโทษนะคะต้องไปก่อนขอโทษนะครับต้องไปก่อน So this phrase means excuse me or I'm sorry I have to leave So ขอโทษนะคะต้องไปก่อนขอโทษนะครับต้องไปก่อน 42 is ต้องไปแล้วต้องไปแล้ว This phrase means I must go now Like I really have to go now So ต้อง ต้อง is have to, need to or must So telling your friend that Oh I really have to go now ต้องไปแล้ว 43 is ดีใจที่ได้คุยกับคุณดีใจที่ได้คุยกับคุณ This phrase means it was nice chatting with you คุย คุย is to talk or to have a conversation So ดีใจ is glad So it's like I'm glad that I get to talk to you ดีใจที่ได้คุยกับคุณ 44 is pretty similar to the previous one is ดีใจที่ได้ so this phrase means it was nice to see you. So again, ดีใจ is glad and จ is to me. So I'm glad that I get to see you. It was nice seeing you. So ดีใจที่ได้เจอคุณ. Now let's talk about common phrases for saying goodbye. 45 ไว้คุยกันใหม่นะ ไว้คุยกันใหม่นะ This phrase means talk to you later So the word คุย คุย is to talk, to have a conversation So telling your friends that Oh, we catch up later or we talk to you later ไว้คุยกันใหม่นะ So of course you can add ค่ะ and ครับ to make it more polite Especially if you talk to older person ไว้คุยกันใหม่นะคะ ไว้คุยกันใหม่นะครับ 46 is ไว้เจอกันนะไว้เจอกันนะ This phrase means see you later And if you want to make it more polite You can say ไว้เจอกันนะคะไว้เจอกันนะครับ And 47 This is very common and very casual So we say เจอกันเจอกัน This phrase like See you later See ya So we usually use with friends or someone we know very well or people same age เจอกัน And 48 If you know your friend's family you know like uh, his or her mom and dad or brother sister so you can tell them that you want to send your regard to uh, that person or you want to say hello to you know, someone in that family. So you can say ฝากสวัสดี and follow by the person who you want to say hello to. ด้วยนะ ฝากสวัสดี ด้วยนะ For example, you want to say send my regards to your mom. You know, you could say ฝากสวัสดีแม่ด้วยนะ ฝากสวัสดีแม่ด้วยนะ 49, oops, 9, what's wrong with 8 and 9? Okay, 49 is ดูแลตัวเองนะ ดูแลตัวเองนะคะ ดูแลตัวเองนะครับ This phrase means take care yourself As you remember, ดูแลตัวเอง is take care yourself So, you know, telling your friends like Please take care yourself ดูแลตัวเองนะ Alright, and the last one, the 51 Finally, we come to the last This one is simple and easy สวัสดี Wait สวัสดี is hello Yes so apart from hello Did you know that Thai people use สวัสดี For saying goodbye When we are talking to older person So before we end the conversation Before we leave If that person is older than you You know or Older than us We say สวัสดี So you say สวัสดีค่ะ สวัสดีครับ So I hope you find out This lesson is useful and you can 
use can you can apply when you have a conversation with Thai people. All right, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave it here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Learn Thai with Mod, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Learn Thai with Mod. And if you like to become more conversational in Thai, if learning by yourself at home is not effective, is not fun enough, please come join our class. We have online speaking class. You know, we, you can learn Thai with your new friends from all over the world. It's comfortably easy. You don't have to leave home. You just can learn via Zoom, you know, anywhere at your office, at your house. So please don't forget to write us to this email. And again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next video. สวัสดีค่ะไปก่อนนะคะ